Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Just going to be talking about some leaks and some stuff like that. We actually got some pretty hefty leaks actually. Uh, if you guys don't know, we're just going to get right into this. You guys know what to do. Um, actually, yesterday afternoon, I think the Paladins account, it was either the Paladins account or there was one of the Paladins account. I know there's a French one and there's a Poland one and there's a few other ones. I accidentally actually tweeted out a screenshot or like a picture kind of leaking and spoiling the next event pass and pretty much the next steam for the next paladins patch pretty much confirmed at this point we're probably more than likely 99.9 .9 chance of getting and probably getting a rwby crossover event pass and a crossover patch for paladins for this next patch now, keep in mind, too, the one thing they said is that we're, we're going to have an update show on June 1st, which, when you guys are seeing this, is going to be next Wednesday, which I don't know if that's actually legit either because it seems a little bit too early for an update show. The current patch has only been out for maybe, like, I don't know, what was it, like, about two and a half, three weeks now. I guess it would be around about four, three and a half, four weeks, I guess, by next Wednesday, but still. It seems like a one or two weeks early, too early for an actual update show. Usually we don't get an update show until like halfway through the Trials of the Realm and we're not even halfway through the Trials of the Realm yet for the current patch. So I'm not sure if that's legit either, but take that with a grain of salt. We might actually get a confirmed update show for this next week, probably on Monday or over this weekend. So that'll be interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys missed my data mine video as well, we actually got the data mine champions that are all going to be getting scans, which... With the RWBY Battle Pass and the Event Pass and overall theme for this next patch, which, like I said, did get leaked. I'll throw a screenshot of it on screen for you guys right now as well, of like the moon or whatever. Apparently, I don't watch the anime, but the moon from this screenshot, I guess, is the same one that they have in RWBY. And it's pretty much a no-brainer because they look the exact same. So it's kind of an indirect thing that pretty much kind of a, an accidental leak a couple days, probably even like a half a week early of what we're supposed to be getting for this next patch and probably the theme of the event pass or over the, overall the entire next patch. But if you guys missed my leaks video and my data mine video for this patch as well for the PTS. I'll link that at the end of the video. But we actually got the data mine skins, which were Furia, Sati, Vora, and Damani, which now all makes sense. I just don't know which, which ones they're actually going to give. The only no-brainer one is that we're going to get is we're going to get Vora, which is going to be Ruby Rose. So... And then I'm not sure what other ones we're going to get. Like, I'm, I'm assuming Blake, Weiss, and then Yang. That's what I'm assuming, but I'm not sure what other champions they would actually give that to because they don't really make much sense. I, I really don't know what they're going to be doing and how they're going to actually implement these other characters. The only one that makes sense is Ruby Rose with Vora because they both have Scythe and they kind of are the same theme. But I don't know how they're going to make Weiss Shni and Yang and Blake Belladonna all work. With Amani, Sati, and Furia, it did, I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense because they don't really go together, at least from what I've seen and kind of what they're supposed to be. I don't really, wa I've never really watched anime. I watched like half of season one. That's about all I had watched, and that was a long time ago already. So if you guys actually watch through or at least watch RWBY, let me know how they would actually implement like Weiss, Yang, and... Uh, Blake into into those characters because I have no idea how they would actually do that without it making sense. Apart from Ruby Rose being Vora, that's the only one that actually makes sense. But that's that's why we're getting four females for the the next event pass too. And I also would not be surprised if we actually get all the skins, like two of the skins in the event pass, and then two of them locked behind Prime Gaming. I would not be surprised. Do not get mad, and do not get pissed when I I'm telling you guys right now. I have a strong suspicion. They're going to put two of the skins into the battle pass or the event pass, and then they're going to lock two of them behind Prime Gaming. They did the same thing for Boss Fight Kolga and, and the Cassie skin when they had a, a collaboration with Monster Cat. They're going to do the exact same thing this patch, I, this next patch, guys. I guarantee you. Prepare to get, get your pitchforks and get your, uh, get your stakes and your torches and storm down to Georgia because, uh, they're, they're probably going to do it again. You, you think they would learn the first time after the, the massive amounts of feedback that they got for the Monster Cat Battle Pass, locking back, like two of the best skins out of those that theme of the Battle Pass and the Event Pass behind Prime Gaming, they're going to end up doing it again. I, I have a strong suspicion that's what they're going to end up doing. 
we'll probably get Vora and we'll probably get maybe like Weiss or Blake in the event pass. And then they'll lock the other two behind Prime Gaming. Or they're going to take the ones that everybody wants the most, which will probably be Ruby and will probably be Blake. And they're going to take those ones. They're going to lock the ones that everybody wants behind Prime Gaming, like scumbags. So I don't know. That's just another thing to keep in mind, too. But let me know in the comments down below. How do you how do you guys think Yang, Blake, and uh, Weishni would actually be implemented into Furia, Sati, and Amani of all characters? Uh, how do you guys think that would fit? And how do you guys think that would actually work out? Uh, which is really cool, too, because Smite actually got an RWBY crossover battle pass about two years ago too so i know and they made it work pretty good but they have a lot more gods and they have a lot more characters in their game so and then it's pretty much an entirely different game but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys like these types of videos kind of just more of a discussion type videos leave a like subscribe if you are new and share this video the video this video is supposed to be going up this morning so the day you guys are seeing this video i should be live later tonight for, with some paladins so if you guys want to stop by Feel free to stop by. And then tomorrow night we should be live with some Paladins custom games. So if you guys want to stop by for some custom games, 5v5 competitive custom games live on stream, feel free to stop by. But apart from that, I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, guys. Thanks for stopping by.